Kenyans flocked in their thousands to Uhuru Gardens where the KDF led other security agencies in showcasing their air skill and tactics of the disciplined forces. The show that displayed the military's prowess and more especially the Kenya Air Force left those who turned up in awe. I'm happy to see all these things. Such a year show uh, makes young promising people try to join the forces as they have seen what they can get from. From the Kenya Air Force pilots showcasing their flight tactile. <laughs> to the forces displaying their readiness in handling different scenarios in the battlefield. <laughs> Paratroopers landing from miles up the sky was a sight to behold. <laughs> the Kenya Wildlife Service also sharing the platform to demonstrate their skill. <laughs> they showcased their tactics in handling the poachers and how they rescue wounded soldiers while protecting the wildlife. Civilian air transport providers, including the Kenya Airways, also not left behind. For those who had come to witness the event, from aviation students to aspiring pilots, could not hide their excitement and admiration for the forces. We've learned a lot and we're able to even work more harder so that we can join the industry. For you young, younger ones, work hard to be a pilot because it's so nice. If this can be happening more frequently, so that even if it's not us, then our children can also come and uh, enjoy the same. What we like to do is to city. Uhuru Gardens is in its final stages of preparations ahead of the Madaraka Day National Celebrations set to be held at the same venue on Wednesday. It sure was a field day for the military, showcasing the itinerary and how equipped they are. Most of the residents, as you have heard, requesting that this event is done on an annual basis. Reporting for K24 from Uhuru Gardens in Nairobi, I'm David Kagina.